So today we're gonna to be talking about software engineering intern salaries. Now, I've seen videos like this before, done in the past, and it's always, you know, top 10 salaries for from the big companies, the, the big four, you know, big fang, top five, blah, blah, blah companies, or whatever the new acronym is. I'm gonna go through the averages, and then I'm gonna discuss how they varied against, you know, the money I made at my internships to kind of give you a sense of what you might want to expect from uh, an internship. So welcome back to the show. My name is Jason Goodison. I'm a software engineer at Microsoft, and I'm a six-time intern across three countries. So I have a very wide range of uh, software engineering intern salaries, and you're gonna see that today. Um, I can't wait to show you guys these salaries. So what I'm gonna do is Waterloo, the school that I went to, makes you do six internships. Um, so they have an average documented, what the average is. It's actually a well-known thing, it's documented. I'm gonna show it to you. So they updated it, now they actually have uh, different earnings based on the country. So you'll see Canada and you'll see America. So I'll discuss both of them. I can probably fit them both right here for you. All right, so I'm just gonna discuss the Canadian salaries. I'm gonna discuss the American salaries, kind of how do they differ. Um, you know, this is for Waterloo students. So the, the American salaries aren't for American people. They're for Canadian people that go to Waterloo that got an internship in America. So <clears throat> if you look at this right here, I'll put it up here. These are the Canadian salaries and I'll discuss how they differ and how they vary from my own salaries. Uh, and I think it's important for you guys to see kind of what a real journey is like as opposed to just the flashy stuff. So $18, uh, $18 an hour in your first one. You know, that's actually really good. So when I was an intern, when I was doing my first work term, six years ago now, it has to be, wow, I'm getting old. Six years ago now, um, the average was 15 an hour. So now it's 18. You know, I thought I was pretty slick back then because I got $18 an hour for my first internship. Uh, but that's clearly the average right now. I mean, if you factor in inflation, maybe that makes sense. Take into consideration, my first internship was not a programming one. Uh, I, I actually just helped people fix their computers. It was a service desk job. So, you know, people called me. I said, have you tried turning it off and on again? Uh, you know, the old trick. Every year it jumps by about, I'll say one and a half dollars. In Canada, you're really making like linear jumps in terms of salary for your, uh, for your internships. So, you know, I'll discuss my Canadian ones. I, I got 18. I got around 20 for my second one. For my third one, I got about 22. All these numbers are really accurate for my internships. So then on my fourth internship, um, I got in a company in America. It's called Toast. Uh, they're based out of Boston. And they're a fantastic company. I'm actually wearing the shirt right now. So shout out to Toast. If you get an opportunity to work there, I would take it. So if I jump back over to the American work term ones, what you'll see for the fourth internship is you'd be expecting to make $40 an hour. Wow, that's a lot more than I made my third, my fourth internship in America. Now I know the salaries have changed quite a lot since I worked there, but when I was at Toast, I think the, the salary was about $27.50 an hour, something like that. And I know they've increased it significantly um, and that, that would make sense to, to go with this average for now. I worked term five, I was in Yahoo, uh, and the average is $42 an hour that you'd be making in your, your fifth internship. And that's about what I made. But on top of that, you don't only make uh, money through you know, your salary. You're usually given a stipend if you live in the States. Uh, one of these big companies bring you over, they usually provide you with a stipend. The one at Yahoo was about 6K, so it was about 1,500 a month for your rent, and I, I think I used, uh, I, I paid 1250 for rent you know, in Sunnyvale, California. What does that get you? Well, it gets you like a really dingy place with cockroaches, uh, and you know, you survive. 12.50 and I actually did have cockroaches. That actually did happen. My sixth internship is gonna be a bit different than the ones they have here. I could have went back, I could have tried to get one of the you know top five FANG companies or something like that. Uh, but I decided instead, I think once you hit that point where you're making over $40 an hour as an intern, you know, if you don't need the money and the, the schooling's not that expensive in Canada, if you don't need it, you gotta try something different. You gotta experience new things. So I did my sixth internship in Ireland um, and I worked in Dublin. I actually worked, went back to Toast and I worked at Toast's Dublin office. It was a fantastic experience. 
However, I was not making anything near the money that people were making here. So in the Canadian salaries, you'd be making about $26 an hour if I'd stayed in Canada. For America, I'd be making about $43 an hour American. In, a, in Ireland, the salaries for software engineers are much lower. I think I was probably making closer to 18 euro an hour. Call that 23 Canadian an hour. Uh, so it's on the lower side for sure. But you know, that experience to be in a different country, to be you know, experiencing different culture, I think is fantastic and it's definitely worth it. So there you have it, you know, you've got the, you've got the salaries in Canada, they go up pretty steadily. You get the ones in America, they go up much quicker, but they start much higher, right? Now I have talked about all the salaries. I know it's very flashy and very glowy and uh, you know, money is important, I get that. But don't forget about, you know, growing and learning as a person, you're gonna wanna learn the best you're going to want to learn specific technologies maybe you're going to want to learn in a fast-paced environment i always found that the internships at the smaller companies were the ones where i got the bigger role i mean that's why i love toast so much and toast threw me in there as you know just a regular employee a regular engineer and i wouldn't trade that experience for an experience at just a fang company just to get the name on my resume you're building skills you know you're becoming more rounded as a software engineer uh, as long as you're getting those responsibilities at work, you know, it's going to pay off in the end. You're going to get the job you want. So before I leave, I ho really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please like if you got any value out of this video. We're also doing a resume critique giveaway right now. So if you go to the channel below, find that video. If you want to get to one of these big companies, you, you want someone at a big company to look over your resume. Uh, that's a mistake I made is I never let people look at my resume because I was really self-conscious about it. We are going to get you in a better resume. We're going to get you on your way to your dream job. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode.